All right, so let's talk about the color spaces. Typically you start in YRGB color space by default. So your nodes will normally just start in default in RGB, right? And what that consists of is our Y channel, which is our luminance channel. And then we have red, blue, and green. Um, one of the things that Da Vinci has, they have this thing called Lumamix. So it's a little easier if I explain without Lumamix. So for a color, you will say how much red, how much blue, and how much green. If you want white, you're gonna have 100% of red, blue, and green. So if you were to take your red channel and pump it up so you have a lot of red, um, it's obviously gonna get brighter and everything's gonna um, turn red. And then you add your green in there, right? Now they're, they're mixing together and the shot's getting even brighter. And you take your blue channel and you lift that up too. Now you just have a white shot pretty much. So if you were to have Lumamix on, it's going to try to maintain the same luminance levels, so the same brightness levels, but with ever, whatever your color adjustments are. So if I was to add more red in, it's gonna say sort of the same. If I turn the Lumamix off, it's gonna be brighter because I'm adding more red into it. So if I had it on and I add it green, remember before we were getting really bright, now it's staying sort of the same. And the same if I add, go in there and I add the uh, blue as well, because all of these levels are almost the same, if I pull them together, the shot almost looks the same. Um, red's a little higher than the others, but you get where I'm going with this. So that's typically how your uh, nodes are set up is in the RGB. If you were to go over to lab, what you're gonna notice is your Y doesn't work and your R, G, B are gonna be a lot different. They're gonna interact a lot different. So let's talk about what lab is. So if you come to Wikipedia, it says a whole bunch of this weird shit. I don't even know where to start with these math problems, but this is all you really need to know. LAB is designed to approximate human vision. That's all you really need to know. And let me explain. So if I was to take this shot here, and I had it on RGB, typically is by default, and I was to take my red channel and boost it up, take my green channel and boost that up as well, right? And then do some like crazy curves and stuff in here. What you'll see is like it's doing some crazy stuff with her skin. I could take this and you know, mix this all up and like the skin is doing some crazy stuff, right? But if I would go and I would take LAB and how LAB works is it's going to change RGB to LAB. So your R is gonna be L and L is just your luminance level. So all this is, it's just like how Y was interacting in RGB. This is just going to do luminance. But we only have two others, right? You can't just pick two colors. So now they have colors that counteract with each other. Your A channel is going to be your green versus red. Okay, so we would move it up, you're gonna get red. If you move it down, you're gonna get green, okay? And then your B channel is gonna be your blue versus yellow. So yellow, blue. So you can twist these all you want and you're gonna get pretty close when it comes to um, like colors and the roll off and all of that. You're not gonna get these like flat spots and weird stuff like that. And with this, you can do different things. So if we were to take our A, maybe do something like this, right? So we have a little bit of red in the highlights and then our B channel, we could do something sort of the same, but maybe like a little less here and down here, like a little more, right? So with it off, with it on, you know? So you can, it's just another way of playing with colors. There isn't a wrong way to play with colors. It's just a different way to work with colors because this is taking one color versus another color. So you're pulling one color out and adding another color in instead of uh, RGB where you're working with three different 
colors to make other colors. These are versing colors. It's just a different way of working with it. Um, so now, if you know movies, this is gonna be a color grade that uh, is kind of familiar. So we uh, went back into lab, right? And we're gonna pull the A and the B channels here. A little something like this. And then we will take this channel and flatten out the bottom a little bit. We'll pull this back down. So something like that. <clears throat> it's looking kind of close. Just saying. The only thing that this doesn't have is uh, like the brighter values might be pulled down a little bit. Something like that to match those shots. But you can't deny that the the reds and the darker and then the yellows and the and the high, highlights. It's looking pretty close. And then as it, as it's progressing through here, all they're doing is they're um, they have like a, a layer mixer, and they actually have these switched around. So we'll put this on the bottom, this on the top. And then as it progresses into the building, they're just reducing this. So you start to add the other colors from the scene. But hey, with that said, hopefully now you understand how to use LAB, uh, at least the rundown of how it works. Again, my name's JR and thanks for watching.